everybody welcome to Enchanted by you thank you so much for clicking on this video I really appreciate you guys being here today that I'm recording this video is actually the ninth anniversary of the death of Whitney Houston and I wanted to reach out to her on the paranormal side and see if she would come talk to us because there's a lot of mystery surrounding her passing so we're going to talk a little bit about what was the official cause of death and then we will get into the two spirit box sessions. Now she was found unconscious in suite 434 of the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Beverly Hills, California and she was only 48 years old. They actually found her in the bathtub and at first no one knew what had happened and how she had passed. The original coroner's report that came out later said that she had some heart complications and that her death was due to some cocaine use as well as she had things like Xanax in her system, fentanyl, a little small traces of marijuana in her system. All combined together, they say, according to the coroner, that, that was the cause of her death. Now, we don't really know that. We, we, of course, have to go along with that. But a lot of people, including her ex, Bobby Brown, has even come out and said that he believed that Whitney was murdered. Now, was she murdered? We don't know. Was this an accident, which is what it was ruled as by the coroner, was this accidental death? Could be. Or did she mean to do this? So, no one thinks she really meant to do this. She was only 48 years old. She's one of the most celebrated female vocal artists that there is, I would say, even argue around the world. She was amazing and still going strong. So, we need to know what happened that night. So we're going to ask her. Now another sad fact is that a couple years after she had passed, her daughter Bobby Christina Brown at age 22 also died. And so I want to make sure that the two of them are together, that they've met, that they're living, you know, their best life, I guess you could say, in heaven, and that everything's going well. So let's go ahead and get into the spirit box. Now, how do I do this? Well, I have two spirit guides. You can call them guardian angels, whatever. Their names are Ethan and E. If you've been here, you've heard their voices a thousand times, I'm sure. And they help me and they will go, E usually goes and gets someone and Ethan teaches them how to talk to the spirit box. So that's how we do it. I just use an old fashioned spirit box. This is the PSB7 spirit box. And this is the one that you'll see on Ghost Adventures, all kinds of ghost TV shows. This is kind of the standard, I guess you could say, when it comes to paranormal. Um, it just is attached, regular cord. And I, of course, still attach it to my old JBL speaker that's been with me since the beginning and is still going strong. So that's what we use. The other spirit box that I like to use is actually an app, and as far as I know, it's only on iPhone. Now, I'm still going to be trying out some new apps to see if I can find some for you Android users out there. If you know any great apps, leave it in the comments below. I've heard the Necronomicon app or something like that is a really good app. We'll try that one out and see what we think. Um, I test an app by if I can hear Ethan and E coming through it and how well I can hear them talking. Now, with the PSV7 box, that we're going to hear better uh, tones of voice with, but with the SBX12 Spirit Box Lite, uh, I don't pay for the version, it's just the light version, works great for my purposes. That one is more fuller sentences. However, both of them are very loud. Now, I do not edit out any of the noise, and I do prefer the noisy spirit boxes because I found that spirits that aren't really used to communicating with people, you know, maybe they don't live in a haunted house, this is not their something they do from time to time, that they are weaker when they come through and they have a harder time talking. So they, they like the quieter noise or they speak on the quieter noise. I have amazing equipment. I also have a person who reviews, I'd say 90% of my videos with me. He helps me out. He was actually with the US Navy for 10 years and he sat on a sub with the, as he calls them, McCann's, the headphones on and listened to radio static to make sure that you and I stayed safe and, and saved our lives in a couple instances that of course he's not allowed to talk about but <laughs> that's what he does so we have everything professionally done and I also do not cut my spirit boxes unless the spirit box dies or something major happens because I want you guys to know that this is the real thing here whether it comes across good or bad that's just how it is so we're gonna go ahead get into those again if you're wearing headphones make sure that you uh, adjust the volume because it's going to get really really loud right now okay I will get the spirit box ready and I will be right back <laughs> 
stop talking on that one so which is good because I told him we wanted to switch over to this one anyway let me pull this up be right back okay so this is the SBX 12 spirit box sorry it's picking up reflection from lights and you need to make sure if you're going to use it that you set it to 150 ms speed okay the reason I know that I've said this a thousand times is that that's where Ethan's told me to set it at so that's where I keep it at because that's what he wants and I let him run the show when we comes to this 
Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Ethan, can you help Whitney Houston come through on the spirit box, please? Whitney, when you're there, can you say your name, please? Are you with your daughter, Bobby Christina? What message do you have for all your fans? like to say with me? Okay, I'm going to let you go, okay? Can you guys say goodbye? Goodbye. Okay, I know that that one was really short, guys, but that one is so hard to listen through and so hard to pull out what they're saying there, and I like to be sure on things, so sometimes we don't get much when we do those, but what we do get is really solid, really clear. So it doesn't sound like it right now, but what we did pull out of there would have been solid, would have been clear, and we don't want to guess on it, but that one, that one's really, really hard to listen to. I'm sure that you guys have the same thing, especially if you're wearing headphones, that it's extremely difficult to listen to. Anyway, so I hope everyone's doing good. I hope that spirit box went good. I, I'm not going to guess. I'm not going to guess. So it's so hard sometimes because there's things that I'm pretty like 90% sure that I heard and I want to talk to you guys about it, but I'm not going to guess. So, um, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm going to go back, edit this, and hopefully we get some amazing, wonderful things. And I hope everyone's doing good. Make sure if you haven't to subscribe and hit the like button would be wonderful. I really appreciate it when you guys do that. Helps me out a lot, helps the channel grow, and really gets us out there. Also, if there's someone that you want me to talk to, uh, let me know in the comments below. Would love to try and, you know, talk to people that you guys care about out there. I, I try and do my best at picking people and relevant times and all that, but I want to hear from you guys. So, make sure to leave me a comment in, down below. I always check the comments. I might not get back to all of them because, you know, life's been a little crazy lately, but... I'm always checking the comments. Also going to have new merch out soon at teespring.com slash Enchanted Bayou. So go check that out. Love y'all. Hope you guys are doing good. I will be talking to you very soon. Bye.